Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen and welcome to my first pre P3D or prepared video on my channel. My name is Chewy if you don't know me and today I'm going to be doing a quick little video showing you how to configure your PMDG 737 NGX aircraft for the virtual Ryanair website. As you can see we are on stand here, gate 52 right at EGSS otherwise known as Stansted and I have loaded in the Ryanair EI EXF aircraft which is a livery created by the one and only Alex Farmer otherwise known as Gold Star Textures. So without further any ado let's get into the flight deck and I will show you guys what you need to do. If we bring up the right FM, uh, FMC event we can go straight into the PMDG setup have a look at aircraft and then go into equipment. To start things off we need to decide which MCP type we're going to be. Usually it's going to be a Collins one so we can keep that where it is now. As soon as we go down to the uh, after takeoff section here, we, instead of going wing select, we're going to heading select, and then glide, sc glide slope capture before lock is also denied. Over to the second page, and there is nothing to change here, so we can go straight to page number three. ISFD is the instrument, uh, standby instruments that we want to have on this specific aircraft. We're going to have no on the HGS installed. That means that all of these options will be blanked out. And then instead of fail op on auto land, it will be fail pass. On page four, we will keep this as a yes option for the engine's double D rate and go over to page five. Page five will be yes for the air stairs. It will be a no for the short field package, a no for the flight test package. Brake package instead of carbon will be steel and also the ETOPS cargo fire system will be selected as no. Over to page number six, the dual battery package will be yes, ETOPS will be no, the cabin layout will be single class, there will be a secondary jump seat and we do not need a SATCOM antenna. Moving to page seven, we don't need the eyebrow windows, yes, the, or actually I'm going to turn the uh, yoke checklist captain off here and for the first officer as well, but that is only because I have this uh, gold star textures livery imported and otherwise as you can see it would go over the top with the original textures and would just look really weird, so I turn all three of these options off. Moving down to page number eight here, altitude callouts will be on, we will have 2500. 1000 we will have smart here on the call 500 and we do not need to worry about calling 400 so that will remain off on page 9 it will go off off and then also off on the 100 as well we will have 50 on and we will have 40 on as well moving down to page number 10 we will have everything on here so the three ons the 2,500 feet call will be as 2,500, not the radio altimeter there, and the minimums call will just remain as minimums. The final one on this section here is to have the approach minimums call at plus 100. You can go then and have a look at the, so I'm just getting everything good. So the V1 call out will be off, the bank angle call outs will be off, the terrain peaks mode in this specific aircraft will not be on and we do not need to show the water in Cyan. So that's everything there set up in this aircraft menu. We can click the return button now and head over to displays. There are nine pages here, so we'll go through these and then you're pretty much ready and set up to go. So in page number one, PFD slash ND is absolutely fine. We will have the split axis selected. We do not need the ground speed delay. The VREF 20 bug will be on and then the 100 knots bug will be off. Moving to page number two, the rising runway will be on. PFD, ND, NPS will be off. We can remain with the pitch limit on. The round radio altimeter dial, I think that's called, is on, which automatically selects the AOA dial as off. Moving to page number three, it simply goes on, 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 and then off for the landing flaps and off for the FPV heading scale. Page number four is all off here. So we can switch those three options off. Page number five. Track up is yes. The VSD will be on. The range arcs will be on. The show next altitude constraint will be on. And the VOR course lines will be off. Three more pages to go. So page number six here. We will have the TCAS three nautical mile range ring off. We will have the other traffic set as filter, 
the range as 40 nautical miles, which is absolutely fine, and then 2,800 feet as the altitude separation. So all of that can stay the same there. On to page number seven. This selects as no. We will have the EGT color change inhibit at five minutes. Instead of PCT, we will have quartz here. Low oil quantity inverse can stay on, as can the high vibration alert. Moving over to page number eight. We won't have the max uh, con thrust bugs on, and show ref N1 is actually going to be selected as never. The final page that we need to do is page number nine here. Instead of having uh, uh, pounds, sorry, for the weight units, we will have kilograms. And instead of having 900 kilograms as our fuel low alert below, we will have 450 kilograms selected. We do not need to have the fuel total display set up. We've already set kilograms there. The FCS indicator will be off and the brake temp indicator will also be off. So there you go guys. I will leave a link down in the description below so you guys can fully see this list. It is available on the VAMSYS website if you are a member of Virtual Ryanair already. But I just thought I would make this quick video a tutorial for you all showing you where you need to go and what you need to do to set up your PMDG 737 NGX aircraft if you are flying for Virtual Ryanair. Thanks so much for watching. Chewy signing out and I'll see you again soon.